In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your HP DexJet 4252E all in one printer. You can do copy, print, and scan with this printer. This is a wireless printer, so we are going to do the complete setup. So let's start the unboxing. It comes with the leaflets and the manual. In this box, it comes with the set of two ink cartridges. HP67 black and tricolor that's the power cable take the printer out of this plastic packaging Remove this tape. Open front chamber and then remove this. Now close this chamber. Let's do the initial setup. First step is to plug in the power cable that goes at the back of the printer power light will start to flash once you plug in the power cable the light will flash for some time press the power button to switch it on press the power button to switch it on once the power light is stable we have to load the Set up ink cartridges. Take the ink cartridge, remove it from the packaging, remove this orange seal. Same with the second, remove the orange seal. To open the ink chamber, there is another door here, you have to pull it out. At the door of the ink cartridge you will see the marking the black go this side on the right side and the pink go on the left side. So just install it. Place the ink cartridge and push it in with the finger. Hold the printer with the other hand and press it inside. You will hear a lock sound. That means it is installed properly. Close it. Go to the printer display panel to check if the ink is installed properly. So we can clearly see both the ink cartridges are showing up here. After installing the ink we have to load the paper. Paper goes at the back of the printer. So slide the paper tray out. Load a for size or letter size paper. There is a size adjuster. So you can adjust the size with that. Next step is to wait for the printer to print the alignment page. Open the top lid. Remove any packaging on this screen. Place this page facing down, so it should be placed like this on this corner and then click on the black or the color copy button.
scanning is done now you can just remove the page and discard it our printer is ready for the copy function to do the printing and scanning we can do the wireless setup you will see the Wi-Fi light is flashing that's the blue light that means printer is not connected to the Wi-Fi to connect it with the Wi-Fi you can use your laptop MacBook or smartphone for the setup process right now I'm just going to use my iPhone you can use your smartphone and open the HP smart app you can download it from the App Store to add the printer click on the printer icon on the top or you can go to the main screen and click on the setup or add printer select the first option new printer select HP Dexjet 4200 series make sure your smartphone is already connected to your home or office Wi-Fi network and this printer will connect to the same network it will display your Wi-Fi network on the top if you want to change you can also change it now enter the Wi-Fi password click on the continue press the flashing I button or the information button on the printer panel the whole setup may take a little bit longer it depends on the internet speed and the signal of the Wi-Fi in case your setup fails for some reason you can move your printer near the Wi-Fi router and do it again because sometimes low signal can cause problem printer connection is set up with the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi click continue select all printing services if you want you can activate the HP plus or you can just click on the do not activate HP plus right now I'm just going to decline it as I don't want to use that option and click continue if you have a HP account you can sign in now or you can create it now this will help you to use extra features of the HP smart app right now I'm just going to skip it if you want you can enable the two month of ink delivery or you can just skip this trial and then click on the do not enable ink delivery if you want to take this offer you can just try for two months or you can just remind later right now I'm just going to click skip offer ink is already installed scroll ahead and then click on the continue select auto updates for your printer that is the recommended apply let's do a test print so this will give a confirmation if printer is working and if it is connected or not so definitely it's connected and it's working good paper output is here you can extend it you can also send link to other devices or you can just skip it so you will see your printer with estimated level of ink on the main screen so that is here and we can start using this printer over the Wi-Fi network for wireless printing and scanning so let's do a test print print preview automatically it will select your printer if not you can click on the printer icon and select your printer and go back you can also increase the number of copies for example if you want to do the two copies and then click on the print icon 
So let's check the print speed. So print is very responsive. Within few seconds it starts to print over the Wi-Fi. That's a good thing. So let's click on the done. Let's do the scanning. So there are two ways to do the scanning. You can open the lid, place the page you want to scan facing down and then go to the app and click on the printer scan icon. You can also select if it's a photo, document or a batch. You can increase the DPI up to 300. So I'm going to do that. Click done and click on the scan icon. So let's check how fast it scans. Scan is done and it is transferred. Select the full screen. If you want you can save it or you can share it. So click on the next. So sharing and saving option is here. If you want you can add more pages and you can do the multiple scannings as well. If you want to add more pages and scan multiple pages and save it as a single PDF file you can do that. For that we have to open the lid, place the second page, click on the add button on the top, click on the scan. So this is easy to scan and then add the pages. In the end you can just save it or share it as a PDF or JPEG. I'll show you that. Select full, next, share, select basic PDF file type or PNG, TIF, image, all options are there. Now let's do the scanning using the automatic document feeder tray that is ADF tray. So remove this seal from here. Let's scan multiple pages. So it should be like this. Click on the printer scan. Click on the scan icon. So it has started to scan using the ADF or automatic document feeder tray. The good thing is if you want to do the copy using the ADF tray you can do that. Just place the pages here and then we'll click on the copy icon. I'll show you that how to do that. So one page is transferred and it is done. Some printers will scan all the pages and then they will transfer. Right now I can see it's scanning one page and then transferring it. Now the second page. So both pages are done. Just wait for the finish. So both pages are here. If you want you can just save or you can share. Even you can click on the add to add more pages. So that was the wireless printing and scanning. Let's do copy. So we are going to use two pages to copy using the ADF tray. Again in the same way we have to place it here. Just click on the color copy or black copy button. 
let's check so that is working that's a good thing and it's not slow not very fast where speed is really good better than some basic printers So that is the complete setup of the printer. So we did the unboxing, initial setup, wireless setup. Hopefully this video is very helpful to set up your printer. Thanks for watching.